Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So yesterday we had a digital event showing off some of the features of the Monster Hunter Rise Daybreak expansion pack. We also get a release date for that, as well as we have some new Game Pass games to cover. Those topics and a whole lot more coming up, but before we get started, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing. That's the best way to let me know you enjoy the content on this channel. Now let's get started. First, let's take a look at what was announced in that Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak digital event. We have a quick summary here from Nintendo Life. It releases on June 30th and pre-orders are already live. Key features include new story, base, locales, monsters, and the master rank. Citadel is a new environment with varied locales. We had a good look at the Elgato Outpost, a sizable environment with an all new cast of characters. The three lords are the big targets in this expansion, and there will be new wire bug moves and lots of additions to freshen up gameplay. Now there is also going to be a deluxe edition, and in this you're going to get a steel case, some stickers, an enamel pin, one of the new amiibos that we'll cover here in a minute, and of course you'll get a digital code for this expansion. And for anybody who doesn't already have the base game and wants to pick that up as well as this expansion, they are going to have a digital version that includes both. So you're going to get the base game, the expansion, you'll get the deluxe kit, and the Sunbreak deluxe kit. So this would be an opportune time to jump into this, and don't forget that right now you can play the base game for free as long as you're a subscriber to the Nintendo Switch Online service. And that's going to be through the 17th. Now here's a quick look at the three amiibos they announced, and if this is something you're really into, you can pick these up. Now the center one here is part of that deluxe physical edition that you can pick up, so if you're going to get that, you don't need to worry about trying to order this one separate. And these will unlock some special armor sets, as well as you'll be able to scan them daily for some lottery items. Now overall, I'm pretty excited about all the information that came out today. The one thing that I wish that they would do is give you a chance to buy that digital version right now and just have the expansion added on whenever it's released. But unfortunately, this all-in-one digital version is not going to be available until the date the expansion is available. And I think they may really miss out on some sales by doing it this way. But what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Next, let's take a look at the Game Pass games that are coming out for the last half of March. So on March 17th, we'll have Shredders as well as Dungeon of Nahobok. And Shredders is going to be a day one release. Then on March 22nd, we'll have Tainted Grail Conquest and Zero Escape, the Nonary games. Then on March 24th, we'll have Norco and F1 2021. And Norco will be a day one release for PC on Game Pass. Then on March 29th, we'll have the console version of Crusader Kings 3 and the PC versions available now. And then finally, on March 31st, we'll have Weird West, and that's going to be a day one release on Game Pass. So overall, we have several day one releases, and many of these look kind of interesting. I don't know what I might be interested in playing. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. And of course, every time new games come in, we see some that are leaving. So on March 31st, we lose Madden NFL 20, Narita Boy, and Shadow Warrior 2. And then on April 11th, we'll lose Destiny 2 Beyond Light, Shadow Keep, and Forsaken on the PC. Now since Madden 22 just came out on Game Pass, it's not too big of a surprise to see 20 leave. But if there's any of these other games that you're interested in playing, you may want to go ahead and hop to it and get it done. And on the announcement page for all of the Game Pass games that are coming, there was an interesting note. For some extra fun, be sure to tune in to the ID at Xbox Showcase tomorrow, March 16th at 10 a.m. Pacific, for more awesome news and interviews from our friends at ID at Xbox. Who knows, there may or may not be some surprises for Game Pass members. And then they add in parentheses, you know I'm writing this for a reason. So over on the news announcement for the ID at Xbox page, it says, ID at Xbox and Twitch Gaming will be coming together once again to showcase updates and new announcements of amazing games coming to Xbox from independent developers. 
catch the show on Wednesday, March 16th at 10 a.m. Pacific. Now that would be 1 p.m. on the East Coast. They go on to further say, we will be featuring updates, new trailers, and gameplay from Finji and Whitethorn, as well as the first game from I Am 8-Bit's brand new publishing label. In addition to all this, fans will get a chance to see the latest and hear from the teams working on Shredders, Roblox, and some new games that you need to tune in to see. So at least this kind of overlaps with Game Pass when they talk about Shredders. That's coming out on Game Pass and they will have some footage here. But I don't know if that would classify really as a surprise for Game Pass members. So it does make me wonder if maybe there'll be some additional games that will be announced at this showcase happening today. Or maybe this is just something being overhyped because Shredders is going to be there and that's on Game Pass. But I guess we'll find out today. And finally, just a short follow-up to the Chocobo GP story that I covered yesterday. The series producer, Okuyama, released a message with an apology about the issues with the game and the microtransaction levels and the grind level. And here's a translated version of that that my Nintendo News had. We apologize for the inconvenience caused to the players due to problems with the battle function and lack of advance notice. The development team will work as one to deal with any defects so that they can be repaired as soon as possible. He goes on to talk about how they raised the prize level and made it easier to get to level 100. There are also a list of changes that were made or that are upcoming and I'm not going to go through all these line by line but the basic gist of this is that they're going to reward you more but they're not getting rid of their seasons, they're not getting rid of their DLC, their microtransactions. So I guess I still have an issue paying $50 for a game that's basically a live service game that you're going to have to be paying into to get much progress in. I still think that if they had just released this game as a free to play totally, I know they have a light version of it and that has like some limited tracks and stuff, but if they had gone completely free to play with these microtransactions, I think it would have gotten a lot better reception. And that's all we have for today. Did anything here catch your attention? Are you looking forward to the Sunbreak expansion for Monster Hunter Rise? And did any games on Game Pass catch your attention? I'm probably going to check out Shredders. Make sure to drop me a comment below about those topics or anything else we covered today. I want to thank you for watching and be good.